Welcome to CG Dive. If you're using Rigify and you experience this problem, the spine of your character twisting and flipping like this, I'm going to explain exactly why this happens and how to fix it. Okay, let's start from scratch. And I'm going to demonstrate on this wolf model. And that is because the most common way in which people stumble upon this problem is by using the wolf meta rig uh, that is provided by Rigify. And that is because actually there is a little bug in this uh, pre-built meta rig, unfortunately. So if I just uh, press Shift A and create a new wolf meta rig from the animals, um, here is the meta rig, and I made my wolf model conform exactly to this meta rig so that I don't have to align the bones. I can just press generate and we can move on to the actual problem. But before we do, first of all, I got this model from Sketchfab. I'm using the Sketchfab add-on, which allows you to download Sketchfab models directly into Blender. It's very useful. I'm going to share a link to the add-on as well. But this is the model that I'm using. And something else that I'll do before I generate, I'll go to edit mode for this uh, meta rig and I'm going to delete all of the face bones. I don't need them. Make sure to leave the head bone and now I can go to object mode and generate the rig. And now if I select the uh, wolf and then shift select the generated rig, press control P with automatic weights, the first thing that you may notice is that the tail is all messed up. And we are going to talk about this uh, a little bit later, but first let's focus on this spine problem. If I go to pose mode and rotate these widgets, uh, you may not notice it right away, but if I double tap R and start rotating to some extreme degrees, you will start seeing this popping on or flipping uh, that happens to the spine. And the same happens if I rotate the chest. So what is going on? I'm going to undo before the generation and I'm going to enable X-Ray and here is my meta rig. Um, and under the armature tab, viewport display, let's enable axis. Go to pose mode and I'm going to select the spine bones and press shift H to isolate them. And, and now notice how the Z axis in most of these bones is pointing down, but on this bone, it is pointing up and on this bone as well. And this is why this uh, spine flipping occurs. And I would understand if someone who is new to rigging makes something like this, but why is Blender shipping with a buggy meta rig like this? I really do not understand. Fortunately, this is not difficult to fix. I'll just go to edit mode and the orientation of this axis is controlled by the bone roll. If, if you look under the end panel roll, you'll see that you can play with this value and this axis will move. So one of the easiest way to fix this is to select all spine bones one by one. And I'm going to select the uh, chest bone last so that it is active. Then I'll press shift and N and choose active bone. And that will align the axis of all selected bones to the axis of the active bone. So now all of these axes are aligned in the same way. Now I can go to object mode and generate my rig. Okay, now if I parent it with automatic weights, we still have the tail problem. I'll talk about it in a second. But now I can uh, twist these um, hips widgets and chest widgets any way I like, and I won't get any flipping. So that's it. The problem was with the bone roll. Um, you have to be careful if you're constructing your own rig. And for some reason, the pre-built meta rig has this problem. Okay, let's undo again and, and try to do something about this tail. So here I am, um, I did undo and now I'm back to the meta rig. And honestly, I'm not sure why this problem with the tail occurs. There are two solutions for this and one of them is a little bit uh, surprising. So the first one, if I go to pose mode, unhide everything and select the first tail bone, I can go to the bone tab and here we have this connect chain. Uh, option. I'm going to disable it and generate. And now if I parent with automatic weights, the tail problem is fixed. Okay, uh, but I'm going to undo again. So I still have the connect chain option on. And let's see if we can do something to fix it even with the connect chain option enabled. And the solution I found was a little bit surprising. Uh, first of all, I was thinking that Again, it has to do with the bone roll, but uh, then I checked 
all of the bones here and the bone roll is consistent for all bones so that doesn't seem to be the problem um, so then I went to edit mode and I simply moved these bones around a bit just slightly like I'm really not doing anything extreme if you want to move this joint here make sure that you box select over it so that you move both of these bones together Otherwise, you may get the bone position is this joint error, which I handled in a previous video. Okay, so I moved these bones very slightly. You saw what I did. It is really nothing extreme. So now I'm going to go to object mode and generate the rig. Parent with automatic weights. And there we are. Um, everything is fine. The, the tail is fine. I can move it any way I like and it won't get messed up. And also everything is fine with the spine and I even made it rhyme. Um, okay. Okay, so this is a problem that you'll encounter very often because of this buggy meta rig that is included in Blender. By the way, this problem wasn't there until Blender 2.91, I think, and then in 92, 93, and now in uh, Blender 3 beta, uh, we have this problem. It has been reported and hopefully they'll fix it soon. I, I really hope so because this problem should be really easy to fix and at the same time it is creating trouble for a lot of people. But this problem is not limited to the Wolf Meta Rig. Anytime you have inconsistent bone rolls in the spine of the Meta Rig, you'll face this problem. So I'll show you another example. Here I have this humanoid model and I just used the default uh, basic human meta rig uh, and I'm going to generate it now. I'm going to set my advanced options to new so that I don't overwrite my wolf rig and generate. Oh, and by the way, I got this uh, low poly model again from Sketchfab. So let's see. This is the model I used. All right. And now if I uh, parent this model to the rig with automatic weights, everything will be fine. I won't get any twisting in the spine, but if I grab the meta rig and go to edit mode and here for any of these spine bones, I enter some sort of uh, bone roll like 180 over here and then I generate. I'm going to overwrite now. Now, if I rotate the uh, chest, or the, the pelvis, I'll get twisting of the spine. So that is the whole problem. If you ever get this problem, go to your meta rig and, and check the bone rolls of the spine. They need to be consistent. And again, you can see these axes by going to the armature modifier and enabling axis. And to unify these axes, Select all bones that you want to affect and then shift select the one bone that you know that has the correct bone roll. Press shift N and choose active bone and that will unify the uh, bone rolls. Now I can regenerate and the problem will be gone. And that's it. Big thanks to my special supporters. These videos are made possible by them. If you like what I do on CG Dive, please consider joining them or simply like, subscribe and comment on this video and I hope you tune in next time.